And is that a planet? Oh, it is, Tabs. Whoa, there's a whole area out there in space with the planets and the sun. It's called the solar system. Hmm, I wonder, what planets are in the solar system? Good idea, Tabs. Let's go into outer space. I'm gonna need a rocket booster. Rocket booster. Confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Now it's time to get planet size. Growing up. <laughs> right, Taps, we're in space. Whoa, it's a meteor. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Welcome to Outer Space, I marry the meteor. I'm here to find out about all the planets in our solar system. There are eight planets in our solar system. Let's meet them, shall we? Closest to the blazing sun are the two smallest and hottest planets, Mercury and Venus. Whoa, <laughs> Whoa. that is hot. We should go. The third planet is your home, Earth. Hi, Mom. Then there's Mars, the red planet. Mars is red because it's covered in rusty soil. <laughs> That's a lot of dust. Come on. Next up is the giant Jupiter, bigger than all the planets combined. He doesn't scare me, though. Whoa, we should go. We sure are a long way from the sun now. Welcome to Saturn and her rings. Whoa, they look beautiful. Can we get closer? Of course. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. yeah, wee. Wait, we haven't finished yet. On your left is Uranus, billions of miles from the sun, pretty cold. Now let's hear it for the furthest, windiest, and coldest planet, Neptune! Whoopie? Whoa! I have the answer to my question. What planets are in our solar system? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for the tour, Mary. That was wild. See ya, Blippi. Time for a shower. A meteor shower! Bye, Mary the meteor. Phew, it's so hot out today, but my popsicle is melting down my hand. Hmm, I wonder, why do popsicles melt down my hand? What's that, Tabs? Go into that ice cream truck and ask an expert? That's a great idea. I'm gonna need wings, the excavator arm, and duck feet. Wings, excavator arm, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Shrinking down! Woohoo! I'm in the ice cream truck. Hi, welcome to my neighborhood. I'm Sherry Pop. Glad you popped in. Hi, Sherry. It's me, Blippi. I was wondering why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Oh, I know that one. But first, let's have some frozen fun. All right. Woohoo! We're ice cream boarding. <laughs> We're sprinkle sliding. I'm chocolate fudge snorkeling. Sherry, are you melting? Yes, I'm melting because I'm very warm. But I'll go cool off in the freezer and I'll be fine in a sec. Mmm, ice cold. How's it going in there, Sherry? 
It's freezy breezy. Now I'm all set. <laughs> Whoa, it looks super freezing in there. Yep, it's cool to be cold when you're a frozen dessert like me. My ideal temperature is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius. If I keep cool like that, then I won't melt. Good to know. I see you're like my popsicle from earlier. When it was out of the freezer and in the heat of the blippy mobile, it melted on me. Sounds like your popsicle should have come for a visit. You're right, which means we have the answer to my question. Why my popsicle melts down in my hand. It's because popsicles will melt if they get <laughs> too warm. That's why we keep them in the freezer. Upload answer tabs. Sherry, thank you for a totally tasty adventure. It was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Stay cool, Flippy. Bye-bye. Whoa, Tabs, look at this amazing rainforest. <coughs> You're right. I bet all kinds of interesting animals are in there. I wonder, what kind of animals live in a rainforest? I'm going to need spider legs and the grabber arm. Spider legs, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow, this place is so green. They must get a lot of rain here. Yes, we do actually. Hey, it's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. Hello, I'm Bye, the giant panda bear. Glad to meet you. We want to know what kind of animals live in a rainforest. Can you show us around? Yes, okay, but I am meeting my sister for lunch and I'm always late, so I'd like to be there first for once. We won't be long. Super! Let's go see what we can find. Yeah! Thanks, bye! I do get a little hungry before lunch, so could you help me collect some bamboo on the way? Just for a snack. <laughs> sure! Whoa! This bamboo is as tall as a house! The juiciest shoots are at the top! Would you mind? Whoa! 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 Lovely! Whoa, look! There's a monkey! He's a golden monkey! Hi, Fred! <laughs> Sorry, Fred! All pandas love bamboo! That's all we ever eat, actually. Not even ice cream? Not even ice cream, unless it was bamboo flavor. <laughs> Could you get me a little more bamboo? All this chewing makes me terribly hungry. Sure thing. There's a nice stalk just there. Whoa, little red bugs. Oh, it's Reese and Fiona. They're red bamboo weevils. Hi, buggies. Oh no, I'm going to be late again. Sorry, we need to go. Oh, not again. I'm sorry, but I was helping my new friends, Blippi and Tabs. Hello. Could I possibly share some of your bamboo, please? Thanks for the tour, Bai. You really helped me answer my question. What kind of animals live in the rainforest? Golden monkeys, red beetles, and giant panda bears who love eating bamboo. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. I think it's time for a snack of our own. <laughs> See you later. Bye bye bye. Mmm 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 salad. Oh thanks tabs. Didn't know this lettuce was stuck in my teeth. I guess a toothbrush would help. Hmm, I wonder, how do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? <coughs> Great idea! We can go meet a toothbrush in a mouth. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Let's go explore! Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. It's time to shrink down and go into a mouth. Shrinking down! Whoa! 
We're inside a mouth. You're right, Tabs. We need a way to clean these teeth. Would a brush help? Hi, I'm Bill Brushy. And you are? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. I want to find out how to use a toothbrush to clean teeth. Well, you're asking the right brush. Hop on, and I'll show you the best way to clean your teeth. All right. Hey, Bill Brushy, is that toothpaste on your brush part? Yes, sir. It helps keep teeth healthy and food free. Okay, now here's how to brush your teeth. Let's go to the front first. So, small circles on every tooth. Whoa! Okay, that's the front done. Let's go to the back now. We turned, we flipped. Little circles round and round. All right, let's make some more. Circles, circles, circles. These teeth are the molars. I call them the chew crew, since they do most of the work. I know, Tabs. Toothbrushing is a wild ride. Wow! I think I have the answer to my question. How do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? It cleans by brushing the front, back, and in between of all teeth in little circle motions. And that pushes all the food out from between the teeth and makes them nice and clean. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for your help, Blippi and Tabs. Remember to brush twice a day for two minutes each time for super sparkling teeth. We will. Thanks for letting us ride along, Brushy. Bye-bye. I love being at the beach. Whoa, a flying fish. Hmm, I wonder. What's underneath the ocean? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the ocean and find out. I'll need duck feet and a propeller. Duck feet, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow. It's a whole other world down here. Is this like some kind of underwater forest? Exactly, it is a forest. Welcome to my neighborhood. My name's Jerry, Jerry the Jellyfish. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're down here to see what's in the ocean. Oh yeah, there's a lot. The ocean's full of surprises. I'll show you. I'm going to meet my friends. Well, I'll give you a tour along the way. All right, thanks, Jerry. First stop, our kelp forest. This kelp can grow up to 150 feet. Wow, that's so tall. Oh yeah, but sometimes the water current around here blows the kelp around. Kelp, kelp! Oh no, this never happens. Great idea, Tabs. Let's use the turbo boosters. Oh good, glad you're okay. Let's move on. Whoa, that fish is blue and has a long nose. She's a blue marlin. She uses her nose to find and catch food. She's also really fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, this never happens. <coughs> yeah, Tabs, it is dark in here, wherever we are. Jerry. Jerry? Blippi? Is that you in there? Oh no, hold on. <sighs> Whoa! I scared a gray whale and she blew you right out of her blowhole? That never happens. Thanks for getting us out of there, Jerry. Oh, you're all lit up. I told you the ocean was full of surprises, didn't I? Hey, look, it's your friends. Hiya, pals. You guys found me. And I found the answer to my question. What's underneath the ocean? There's a kelp forest, blue marlins, huge whales, and a jellyfish that lights up. Upload answer tabs. And we're only on chapter one. In chapter two, there's an octopus, and a shark, and a sea turtle, and a tuna. Bye, Jerry. 
Oh, and there's an otter, and a seahorse, and a lobster, and a stingray! Ooh. Wow, that bee sure seems busy. And so does that one. And that one too. They're all so busy. <laughs> well, except that one. Those bees are busy making honey. Hmm, I wonder, how do bees make honey? Yes, let's go into the beehive. I'm gonna need wings and the excavator arm. Wings, excavator arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Now, we just need to make like a bee and be tinier. Shrinking down. You're right, Tabs. The bee's tongue is in the flower. Hey, it's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. I was wondering how you make honey. Hey, Blippi, I'm Bijon. Honey, huh? This is the place to be. <laughs> so I'm using my tongue to drink in this sweet nectar. It's how we bees start to make honey. OK, time to buzz. Into the beehive. Follow me. Spoiler, lots of bees working. It's like a honey factory in there. <laughs> Bijan, are they all chewing nectar? Sure are. <laughs> Got to chew, that's what we do. Chewing makes it thicker. Can't have runny honey. Ha! <laughs> I rhymed again! <laughs> and after you chew, then you have honey? No, no, there's more to show. We chew, then we swallow. Ah, the nectar stays in our bellies, becomes honey, then we put it in the honeycomb. The honeycomb? Yep, we store the honey in the honeycomb. <gasps> Maybe I can taste some honey. Oh dear! This may look funny, but flapping our wings is how we make thicker honey. <laughs> it's a bee thing. Whoa! Yes, Tabs, I have the answer to my question. How do bees make honey? They get nectar from flowers, chew it, store it in their stomachs, then put the honey in a honeycomb and flap their wings over it. Upload answer tabs. Bye, Bijan. Thanks for being you. Uh, <laughs> bye. Woo yeah. Wow, that's a pretty tall mountain. I'm sure they're way taller mountains, Tabs. Hmm, I wonder, what's the tallest mountain in the world? Great idea, Tabs. We'll go to the Himalayas and find out. I'm gonna need wings and the grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find the tallest mountain in the world. Woohoo! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're looking for the tallest mountain. I'm climbing it right now. Hi, I'm Betty the Yeti. Yeti! I was just headed to the top. That's where the best snow is. <laughs> Nothing worse than old snow. <laughs> Can I tag along? I want to see what it's like on top of the tallest mountain. Of course, but get ready. This mountain is super tall. We're up so high, and it's much colder up here. Thanks, Tabs. I love hot cocoa. Whoa! Gotcha. 
That was a close one. Hey, it's the mountaintop. Yeah, we made it. Oh, whoa, it's so windy up here. I got you, Blippi. So what is the name of this mountain? It's Tamalangma. Oh, you call it Mount Everest. You're right, Tabs. I have the answer to my question. What's the tallest mountain in the world? It's Mount Everest. It's 29,035 feet tall. Upload answer tabs. And the snow up here is delicious. <laughs> snow burps. <laughs> Have a good snow snack. Bye, Betty the Yeti. Bye, Flippy. Halloween is the best, Tabs. And I love trick-or-treating, too. Hey, look! A haunted house. Whoa! Look at all the decorations. So cool! You're right, Tabs. Maybe there are treats inside. Hmm, I wonder. What's inside a haunted house? Let's find out. Ready, Tabs? Tabs! What? I better go into the haunted house to find tabs. This should be fun! Hi! It's me, Blippi. I'm looking for my friend Tabs. Have you seen her? Hi, Blippi! I'm Mr. Pumpkin. Was that a ghost? Probably, yeah! I haven't seen Tabs, but you can look for her in this house full of magical and spooky fun! Great! Maybe my friend Bones has seen Tabs. He's in the basement. I'd start by taking the stairs. All right. Whoa! Whee! <laughs> he turned into a slide! <laughs> Mr. Pumpkin? Tabs? Hello? Maybe he's seen tabs. <laughs> I better sweep him up. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, Whee! Sorry again, Bones. Whoa, maybe that flying ghost knows where tabs is. Let's follow it. <laughs> whoa, hi, witch. Bye, witch. Hmm. Well, I guess this is a dead end. I wonder where everyone went. <laughs> cool! A spinning wall! Whoa! Woohoo! Congrats, Blippi! You made it all the way through my haunted house. The tricks are over, but now it's time for the treats! But wait, I still haven't found tabs. <laughs> tabs? You were the ghost the whole time? Well, now I have the answer to my question. What's inside a haunted house? Fun, spooky skeletons, cobwebs, a talking pumpkin, spiders, a witch, and a floating tabs ghost. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for letting us have fun in your house, Mr. Pumpkin. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Look at that snowflake! Whoa! Whoa! I agree, Debo. Snowflakes are beautiful. Hmm, I wonder, how is a snowflake made? You're right, Debo. We can go up into a cloud and find out. I'm going to need a grabber arm and wings. Grabber arm, wings, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out how a snowflake is made. We're way up high, and the air is very cold. Isn't it so chill? I mean, welcome to my cloud. 
<laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Devo. It looks like you're working hard. Huh, you're right. I'm a small particle now, but soon I'll be a big snowflake. Can you pass me those big water vapor clouds? The water in the cloud freezes on me, and then I grow more crystals. One snowflake can contain as many as 100 ice crystals! All of those ice crystals sure made you strong, Mimi. Here! Yeah! Go catch, Devo! <laughs> Now that I'm heavy enough, I can fall towards the ground. Follow me. Yay! <laughs> Mimi, each time water vapor sticks to you and becomes ice crystals, you get even bigger and more impressive. Thanks. You have six points, same as every other snowflake, but your own one-of-a-kind design. Yep, no two snowflakes are alike. That means there's no one like me. That's why I'm called Mimi! A snowman! Perfect! I can land there with the rest of my squad! I did it! Stop the landing! Way to go, Mimi! <laughs> and I have the answer to my question! How is a snowflake made? It starts as a particle in the air and collects ice crystals as it gets colder and colder, eventually forming a unique snowflake. Upload answer, Debo. Bye bye, Mimi. Bye, Blippi. Whoa. Whoa, Tabs, that bouncy castle is out of this world. Hmm, I wonder, what would it be like to bounce on the moon? Great idea, Tabs. We can go to the moon and find out. I'm gonna need a rocket booster, excavator arm, and frog legs. Jets, excavator arm, frog legs, confirmed. Okay, let's go explore. The Blippi Mobile is ready to blast off for adventure. And there's the moon! <laughs> yeah! Okay, time to land. Hey, that tickles! <laughs> Who are you? My name's Rocky the Moon Rock because uh, I'm a rock. Hey, Rocky. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're here to find out what it's like to bounce on the moon. Hmm. I never tried it myself, being a rock, but let me see if I can just get up. All right, then let's bounce. Cha, 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 cha. I'm light as a feather up here. I never knew I could have been having so much fun! Woohoo! It's amazing that we're staying up here this long. Why does it take so long to float down? Because of gravity! It's the invisible force that keeps your moon boots on the ground. It pulls things back down. But, 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 there's way less gravity around the moon than on Earth because the moon is so much smaller. That's why we float for so long. I have the answer to my question. What would it be like to bounce on the moon? It's so fun, and the bounces are really big because there's less gravity on the moon than there is on Earth. Upload answer tabs. We feel like we're floating, but gravity is slowly pulling us back down. Cha, 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 cha. Thanks for the greatest time that I, Rocky the Moon Rock, ever had. <laughs> Bye, Rocky. Keep on bouncing, Blippi. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. 
That's a pretty tall mountain. I'm sure there are way taller mountains, Tabs. Hmm, I wonder, what's the tallest mountain in the world? Great idea, Tabs. We'll go to the Himalayas and find out. I'm gonna need wings and the grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find the tallest mountain in the world. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're looking for the tallest mountain. I'm climbing it right now. Hi, I'm Betty the Yeti. Yeti. I was just headed to the top. That's where the best snow is. <laughs> Nothing worse than old snow. <laughs> Can I tag along? I want to see what it's like on top of the tallest mountain. Of course, but get ready. This mountain is super tall. Ooh, ice. We're up so high, and it's much colder up here. Thanks, Tabs. I love hot cocoa. Whoa! Whoa! Gotcha! Oh, oh, that was a close one. Hey! It's the mountain top! Yeah! We made it! Oh, whoa! It's so windy up here! I got gotcha, you, Blippi! So, what is the name of this mountain? It's Himalayma! Oh, you call it Mount Everest. You're right, Tabs. I have the answer to my question. What's the tallest mountain in the world? It's Mount Everest. It's 29,035 feet tall. Upload answer, Tabs. And the snow up here is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> snow burps. <laughs> Have a good snow snack. Bye, Betty the Yeti. Bye, Flippy. Great. Since I just finished my fun painting, can you guess what it is? Wow, Tabs. Exactly right. It is a penguin holding a cup of tea while rollerblading through a jungle. So many colors. <gasps> Whoa. A rainbow! So many colors! I wonder, how does a rainbow get its colors? Great idea, Tabs. We can fly up and ask the rainbow and find out. But first, I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Let's go explore! Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out how a rainbow gets its colors. Guys and gals, attention please. The big blue sky is proud to present nature's greatest influencer. I'm Bowie the Rainbow. Whoa, hey, it's me Blippi. I'm a big fan, Bowie. I know all your colors. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm very proud of my colors. <laughs> Let me show them off one by one. I don't. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Wonderful job, Blippi. You know, today's a big day. We're doing a double rainbow showstopper. Oh, you must be part of my performance. Really? I'd be honored, but um, I don't know how you get all your colors. Could you show me? Of course, super fan Blippi. First, let's check out this puffy cloud called a cumulus cloud. Ooh, it looks like it just rained too, which is perfect. That means there are lots of water droplets in the air. Wow. 
This cloud has so many teeny drops of water. Hashtag true. Okay, next step. Position the cloud so the sunlight shines true to water droplets like this. Now, when the light goes true to water, it bends or refracts and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Voila. That is awesome. I think I have the answer to my question. How does a rainbow get all its different colors? It's when... The sunlight shines through water. It bends the light and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Upload answer tabs. A five, six, seven, eight. Wow! Don't forget to like and subscribe. How you doing? All right, see you later. Hey, it's a garbage truck. I can see it and... <laughs> Smell it, too. Wow, Tabs, even you think it's stinky. And you're a robot. Wait, where's that buzzing sound coming from? Oh, flies! Hey, those flies just flew into the garbage truck. Hmm, I wonder, why do flies love garbage? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the garbage truck to find out the answer. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why flies love garbage. Shrinking down. Hold your breath, Tabs. We're going in. In the garbage truck. Welcome! <laughs> I'm Horace the Fly. Looks like your first time here. Hmm? Hi, Horace. It's me, Blippi. This is my first visit to a garbage truck. <laughs> Little stinky, huh? <gasps> Not for me. I love smells. Follow me. I'll show you around. This place is like my playground. <laughs> Whoopsies! Sorry about that. Hey, Horace. Why do flies love garbage? Because it's delicious and garbage makes me fly. We've got stinky beans, moldy cheese, greasy pizza boxes, and even leftover mystery mush. Oops, sorry, must have been the beans. I could give you a ride to the nearest garden or fly restaurant. Horace! Where are you? Everything's coming up! Garbage! Oh, is that cake? Oh, no, that was not cake. Still good, though. Gotta dash and eat all the trash. Horace has more energy now. Aha! Which means I think I have the answer to why flies like garbage. It's because they love the smell and they find food there. That's so silly. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. Yes, sir, Bippy. For me, a garbage truck is a 24-7 all-I-can-eat restaurant. Woohoo! Go, Horace. Thanks. Cheers, Blippi.